Man, I can't believe these restocked. We're getting a lot more restocks pretty soon. Let's talk about it. Let's go. What's good, y'all, man? It is your boy, Sniper Kicks. In today's video, man, it is going to be a banger. We're going to talk about the Jordan 1 UNC toe. We're going to talk about a Jordan 4 that restocked, which is insane. We're going to talk about some restocks that are coming up because we are getting a ton of restocks in the next couple of days. But before getting to the video, guys, you already know, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you smash that like button. And of course, hit your notification bell because I will help you guys cop shoes for retail and give you the 411 on sneaker information. But first off, in the EU, Europe, these right here restocked. Yes, guys, this is probably one of the best shoes of 2023, the Jordan 4 Pine Green SB, and these restocked in the EU. There's a couple other sneakers that restocked as well, but man, these things right here, and we got a second chance, I believe, a few months ago, but overall, that was trash to me, but it shows you Nike never sells out. Nike always has shoes in the chamber, and they brought them out in the EU for the Jordan 4 SB Pine Greens. I know I have people in the EU that watch my channel. Did anybody cop the Jordan 4 SB? The resale price is starting to go up on this sneaker. Again, this is many people's sneaker of the year. Very, very clean, clean sneaker, and these restock on top of that we are getting more restocks in these next couple of days you saw what happened we got a ton of restocks we got a restock on the unions guys it's crazy that the unions were sitting we live in a time now just because you have a collab it does not mean it's going to sell out you saw with the amam in year 12s those things sat on the Nike app as well. In these Jordan 1 KO, I know that the Jordan 1 knockoff unions, they were sitting for a good amount of time on the Nike app. Labs don't hold as much weight. We will see what the Jordan 1 High OG Union do with the big old woven in the middle of the sneaker. Overall, that's probably going to sell out, but I do not see it having that outrageous resale price just because it is unorthodox. But overall, if I can get it for retail, I am definitely copying that sneaker. Hey, we got a restock on the Jordan 3 Reimagines, the grade school sizes. We got a restock on the Jordan 2 Chicago full size run. We got a restock of the Jordan 14 Laney's. We also got a restock on the Jordan 3 Wizards. So we will be seeing old retros restocking in the next couple of days. Not like the absolute hype of like, man, this is crazy, like some Jordan 4 SB Pine Greens, but we will see retros that are kind of bricks restock. And again, Nike never sells out. They always have sneakers in the chamber. So be prepared for these next couple of days to get these retros that are going to restock. And again, they might not have high resale value, but you still have a second chance to end up copying these sneakers. So make sure you have your notification bells on. So now let's talk about the shot drop that had for the Jordan 1 UNC to Chicago lows. So there was not extended sizes, which was a bummer. But overall, Nike is kind of clipping the shock drop. They know that people can see in their back end and can kind of see when shock drops are going down. So Nike is like, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to let everybody know that we're going to shock drop. We're going to put it up early. We're going to put it up 20 minutes before the release. And then everybody will be notified on the shock drop. In my opinion, that's not a shock drop anymore. That's just a release, an early release. That's what it's called. It's not a shock drop. So shock drops might be over it. Nike is like, hey, we're going to get ahead of this. We're going to let everybody try out again on a really really hype sneaker like versus the Jordan 1 lost and found the bots get a head start of being ready to go and cooking so that's the biggest things there but guys let me know in the comment section below if you did cop the Jordan 1 UNC to Chicago again I let everybody know it was going down make sure you have your notification bells on I will help you guys and update you guys on what is going on in the sneaker community but there was a shock drop I did the exact same thing with the Jordan 1 UNC toe as well they notified everybody that it was going down 20 minutes before and a lot of people a snipe game was able to cop so I finally got my pair in of the Jordan UNC toe and these right here man these are really nice I'm not gonna even lie to you I'm a fan of this sneaker again the quality is it phenomenal I do have tumbled leather right here so it's pretty good it's pretty good but it's not like the Jordan 1 University Blues I am a fan of this sneaker in my opinion this might be my third 
favorite UNC Jordan 1. These are super, super, super clean right here, guys. Let me know in the comments section below if you did hit on the shot drop if your pair came in. Again, Nike did pretty good with this shipping on the sneaker, but there are still going to be more chances. There will be exclusive access on the Nike sneakers app, so make sure you're prepared. Usually with bigger GRs that are have a little bit hype, they do exclusive access and they are doing it. Should be a decent amount of pairs. So guys, make sure you cross your fingers. I never get exclusive access, so if you're a person that usually gets it, congrats to you. But overall, I never get it, so I'm not going to have my hopes up. I was fortunate to get one from the Shock Drop. And you see the resale price of these right here are not extremely high. So if you're able to get this sneaker for retail, that is going to be phenomenal. Also, Hibbits has his raffle up right now. So if you're a big fan of Hibbits, make sure you do your raffle for the Jordan 1 UNC toe. Again, there is a ton of pairs. There is 600,000 pairs worldwide. So if you just put in your footwork, you will be able to cop this sneaker. This is a sneaker right here, three years down the road, and you didn't get it for retail you'll be kicking yourself in the shins because this is a super clean sneaker right here. So since we're on the topic of exclusive access, we will be getting exclusive access of the Jordan 1 UNC tote on finish line and JD Sports. Here's the thing, if you haven't already, make sure you're getting activity on your account right now, especially if you usually do not get exclusive access because with pre-order EA and in-store EA is based on an algorithm. So you wanna have activity on your account. As you guys know that watch my channel, a lot of people in Snipe Game is able to get exclusive access because they know it's gonna go down and they have active accounts. So on my Discord, we have Finish Line Boost where you can actually go on my Discord and get a boost on your account so it increases activity so you can get exclusive access. There's plenty of people that have utilized that feature in my Discord and were able to get exclusive access. Because again, you have to buy things that have activity, but if you can just use the feature in my Discord, get the points, and then you're good to go. So that is one of the biggest things. Make sure you're having activity on your accounts so you can get exclusive access now on JD Sports and Finish Line and maybe even double dip with pre-order and in-store. So again, the Jordan 1 UNC toe, there's a lot more chances to cop. There will be a sneaker pass. There will be hibbits. There will be flex. There will be Finish Line JD sports all major retailers will get the sneakers and all the boutiques will be getting the sneaker as well so if you put in your footwork you should be good to go again super super clean clean sneaker right here on top of that guys something strange happened so actually the jump man store on ig let go of the jordan 3 palominos early so again on my discord we get notified about everything and a couple of people in my Discord ended up copying the Jordan 3 Palominos via the Jumpman IG store. Again, social media is such a big platform and now these big time companies realize they can utilize social media to actually make sales. They also did this with the Jordan 4 Thunder GS where people got it extremely early, but people were able to get the Jordan 3 Palominos early on the Jumpman store on IG. Let me know in the comment section below if you were able to do that as well. Overall, Jordan 3 Palominos are a nice sneaker, but that is a sneaker I need to get below retail because overall there's so much heat that will be dropping in 2023 and 2024, so I have to pick wisely. But like I said, this is probably my best Jordan 1 of 2023 and we're gonna keep this thing moving on top of that guys make sure you're checking your stores for those nike dunks the nike dunk split chicago very clean sneaker a lot of finish lines have been selling them already but make sure you're going to your store to pick up that sneaker the same thing with the nike dunk mocha as well it's a woman's exclusive but a lot of people have been cooking on that sneaker as well and the nike app will be having them online in the next couple of days so make sure you're prepared and i will notify you on what is going on like i said guys expect more restock on retros and dunks in the next days in the next weeks so be prepared if you missed out on a retro that you really wanted there's a good chance that it will be restocking again nike never sells out it will be pumping different things i can't believe the jordan for sb restocked in the eu you see that back tab right here just straight beautiful and who knows who knows if we get a restock in the US as well. You saw the Jordan 11 Concord restock at a Nike outlet. Nike outlet's been getting crazy 
crazy things this summer. They've been heating up this summer, but really do appreciate you guys for watching this video. Again, good luck to everybody that gets the exclusive access on the Nike sneakers app to Jordan 1 UNC toe. Again, like I said, a very dope sneaker. I'm gonna keep saying that. If I had to choose between this and the Spider-Man, I'm picking this. The Spider-Man is my second, but Jordan 1s are not dead in my opinion. We're gonna keep things moving. Really do appreciate you guys. Sniper kicks out. Peace.